think real estate is an investment and it's not as extreme as some people make it seem. As long as you have the right team to assist you with the process, this could be a breeze. You may even qualify for down payment assistance. What's up, beautiful people? If we haven't met yet, my name is SS Regine and I create content about lifestyle, beauty, and real estate. I would appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, you know all of that jazz. But for now, let's get into the video. Step number one. So before even reaching out for help in regards to a lender or realtor, make sure you know your why. Define your why. What is your goal? Why are you wanting to purchase a house? Like, why do you want to become a homeowner? Knowing your why will allow for the truck to keep on trucking in the midst of adversity. Whether this is your forever home or your starter home to jumpstart your real estate portfolio. Assets over liability me please. Also, take note of your expenses. How much money can you comfortably save? How much money can you comfortably set aside to assist you with the purchase of your new home? You might have to sacrifice the Starbucks drinks that you get every morning. Whatever it is to stay the course is what we need to focus on. What is your time frame? How soon do you need to purchase? Is your lease ending? Are you relocating for work purposes? Or are you just preparing and planning for the right time? Whatever that means for you. Give yourself a deadline and try your best to stick to the plan. This is where I come in hand. Choosing your realtor. Hiring the best professional for you that suits your needs. Your professional real estate agent is responsible for educating you throughout the home buying process. So it is the responsibility of your real estate agent to keep you updated with the real estate market, conducting walkthroughs, scheduling showings, and negotiating the offer to purchase in your home. Get pre-approved. Whatever you doing, just make sure you get approved. Inserts Dolph mean. Because if you know, then you know. He said whatever you doing, make sure you get paid. And I'm saying whatever you do, make sure you get approved. It's very, 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 very important that you do not house shop until you have the golden ticket. A seller is not going to accept your offer if you do not have this piece of paper that says that you are approved for $350,000. We hear Zillow is not your friend, sweetheart, and especially if you're not pre-approved. Most definitely not your friend. Stay away from Zillow until you get your golden ticket. Think about it this way. What's worse than falling in love with the home that you cannot afford. What's worse than that? You fell in love with a $350,000 home, but you only qualify for $300,000. Do you have $50,000? Because I doubt that the seller is going to come down $50,000 when their house is really worth three fifty-five, dollars and they just was giving it a deal. Think about it. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Pre-approval process takes no more than three days once all of your documents are submitted. And if you find you a reputable lender, they may get it back to you in the same day. When getting pre-approved, your two most recent pay stubs, two most recent bank statements, and two years of tax returns. And at least a 580 credit score. I have seen people get approved with less than a 580, but most lenders are going to require you to have at least 580. When getting approved, keep in mind that there are four main loan types. You have USDA. So with USDA, there's income restrictions. Now, you can't just be Mr. Baller Shot Caller and still expect to get no money down. USDA is no money down, but you must be purchasing in a rural area. VA loan is strictly for veterans and veterans only. They also require a termite inspection. All loans do not require a termite inspection. But let me just say, VA don't play. Let's just be honest. Let's just be clear. FHA is most commonly used, requiring 3.5% of your purchase price as down payment. And last but not least, we have conventional. Conventional is not backed by federal government and requires a higher credit score from the buyer. The down payment with conventional starts at 3% of purchase price. Now let's skip to the good part, mm, the home search. This is what you want. This is what everybody wants to get to when it's time to start purchasing. You have your golden ticket, as I like to say. As your real estate professional, it's imperative that I know your home wants and your home needs. What location are you looking for? The price point. Obviously, we know you got pre-approved, but maybe you don't want to use the full $300,000. Maybe you only want to use $250,000. What square feet are you looking for? How many beds? How many baths? 
the style of the house. Is it a single family? Is it a town home? What features do you prefer? Are you looking to be in close proximity to a particular school due to you having kids? Your agent will then create automatic alerts that will send to you daily or as soon as it's uploaded into the multiple listing service. You can request for your agent to then schedule showings on the homes that you would love to see. Keyword, love. Step number five. Okay, so you found the home of your dreams. Now let's negotiate. It's my job as your agent to negotiate an offer that best suits you as the buyer. So as the buyer, things that you should consider prior to submitting an offer. A. What is the condition of the home? B. Days on market. How long has this home been sitting on the market? C. Are there any other offers or is it just me versus me? What money bag y'all say? Me versus me? D. And as I mentioned in my previous video, it's hot over here. It don't matter where you go, the east, the west, the north, the south. Location, location, location. E, the urgency of the seller. Does the seller have to get a house built and need to stay an extra month? Or is the seller moving out of state and need to sell ASAP? We want to know these things prior to submitting an offer. After submitting an offer, please keep in mind that the seller has the right to either A, accept it, decline, or counter offer. What is a counter offer, you ask? So a counter offer is when the seller doesn't accept all of the terms in your offer. Let me give you an example. Say that the seller is asking $245,000 for the purchase price of their home. And maybe you as the buyer only wants to pay $235,000 for the home. Right? So the seller then counters at $240,000 meeting you in the middle then you as the buyer would have the opportunity to accept it, decline it, or counter offer again. We are under contract, now what? Let's get into the home inspections, appraisals, title search. Within 24 hours of being under contract, you as the buyer are required to pay your due diligence fee to the seller. Once this fee is paid, you can then order inspections. Usually a home inspector can get out within the next day, honestly. So as I mentioned earlier, VA does require termite inspections. Also keep in mind that home inspections aren't required, but are highly, highly recommended. The home inspection report highlights any repairs that the buyer can request for the seller to replace or repair. But also keep in mind that the seller isn't obligated to pay anything. However, most times a seller will address any major issues, any major repairs before closing. While you and your realtor are working on the good faith deposits and getting the home inspections, your lender on the other hand is hiring an appraiser to come out and appraise the property. Is it really worth $240,000? It's pretty much what the appraiser is going to tell you. Now, not only does the appraiser benefit the lender, but it also benefits you as the buyer because you don't want to go and purchase a house for $240,000 when it's only worth $200,000. If it's a $250,000 house, then it should appraise at $250,000 or higher. Obviously, the more the merrier. Also, during this process, your attorney will be searching the title to ensure that it is free and clear of liens. Because think about this, you the buyer is literally purchasing the title from the seller. So if there's liens on it, you can't purchase the title, meaning you can't purchase the house. The seller has to clear any liens prior to transferring title to you the buyer. I'm sure at this point in the buying process, you could probably explain it to your family and your friends, you know, kickle and cackle. But coming in hot at number seven, prepare for closing. Prior to closing, be sure that you do a final walkthrough. Let me say this. What's worse than requesting the washer and dryer and having your offer get accepted than to get to your final walkthrough and realize there's no washer, there's no dryer? Because the seller accidentally packed up the washer and the dryer. True story, by the way. So if me and my client never did that final walkthrough, she would have purchased that house without the washer and dryer and there's nothing she could have done because she's already signed the closing documents. But when you hire a nice professional like myself, you know, 
we gonna get it done and we're gonna get to the bottom of it. So purpose of the final walkthrough is to ensure that the property is in mwah, tip top shape per your offer to purchase agreement. Drum roll, please. My favorite words to hear as your real estate agent from your lender is clear to close. Now we can go to the closing table. Do you hear me? Typically closing is anywhere between 30 minutes to one hour. Make sure you have time and bring your good pen if you want those. If you like me to need that G2 or that gel pen. Let's keep in mind that you have about 100 documents to initial and to sign. Also, be sure that you bring your ID and your certified check or make sure that you wire your funds to the attorney. The funds that I'm referring to are your down payment and your closing costs. Closing day, you'll be signing your legal documents, including paperwork related to your mortgage and transfer of ownership in the property. There will be representatives from escrow or an attorney that will walk you through this process step by step. Moral of the story, be sure to hire a great real estate professional to educate you from start to finish, ensuring that you meet your real estate goals. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe. You already know the vibes and I'll see you on the next one.